Welcome to our 44th episode of Apex Instant Tips, uh, coming to you live every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time for five minutes only from Massachusetts. My name is Hayden. And I'm Anton. And Hayden, 44th episode, two fours. That's sort of the theme of the week because this week... Uh, there is some synchronicity here. Yes. So we are introducing a new segment today uh, that we are calling Double Feature Friday. Beautiful. So 44th episode, Double Feature Friday. Um, what's that mean? Uh, two tips in the space of a single five-minute interval. Well, they better be two really short tips, um, but but it's not just short, valuable. They have to be both short and valuable. Completely. So without further ado, let us uh, see if we're up to the task. Um, I will go ahead and share my screen. Excellent. And I will kick off my timer. Uh, And I don't yes. know if your so, timer um, kicked off. It looks to me like it did not. Yeah, so it, it is now kicked off. So okay. uh, Anton, I, I wonder if you will relate to this problem. Um, I, uh, over the course of my day, I log into many workspaces across um, uh, different environments. Sometimes within the same environment, I have different workspaces that I'm logging into. Sometimes I have different usernames in different workspaces. Uh, it is a nightmare for me to uh, stay on top of this. How do you handle this particular challenge? Well, obviously the remember workspace and username doesn't work for that scenario because it only remembers the last one in a particular environment. I, of course, have a fabulous memory, which means that I'm forever forgetting these things myself. I have no solution to it. I really right. don't. I, I end up, I kid you not, I end up logging into the internal workspace if I have access to that <laughs> and looking to like what. So, yes. Um, so, so let's come up with a solution for people who do not have access to the internal workspace <laughs> and who do not have fabulous memories. Uh, so all Apex um, installations will have um, uh, the same ID names for these fields. And so you, you can find it by just inspecting the field. This uh, workspace uh, field is called uh, uh, F4550P1 company. I can take advantage of how Apex um, URLs work by just placing it up here. And uh, I want to, uh, Remember that I have a, uh, um, a workspace of uh, with the name Hayden H. Hudson, which is my full name. Um, and let's say also I, I have trouble remembering what particular username I'm using in different workspaces. So I can uh, further add the username to the URL. And I just have to comma separate it again in that last space before the last semicolon. And uh, comma separated in both instances. And I love this. It exploits the fact that Apex is an Apex application, which is one of my favorite things about Apex. Well, a wrong login, but yes, yeah, so that is the that is the tip. So uh, the, uh, the key though, of... is that you could bookmark that. The key is you can yes. bookmark that URL, and right. that is awesome. Now all my bookmarks, when I when I choose my bookmark, I can get to the page. Fabulous. Yes. So I've left you uh, two minutes and fifty seconds to complete your tip, Anton. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, my tip is uh, less for the developer, more for the end user, but um, I love your tip. I am absolutely going to use this because it's uh, huge for me. So why don't we switch to my screen? Um, okay, so, so we're now looking at Anton's screen and I will keep track of the time. Oh, you, uh, you I have managed to, to synchronize my time. Um, here's the thing, um, This is and this works for interactive reports, uh, uh, standard reports, all those kinds of things, faceted searches. Um, I, my users often say, what, what if, if I just get one row returned, I would like it to automatically pop the edit. This makes a ton of sense to me. Uh, it right. spares me that extra click, which is a kind of obvious uh, thing to do. Yeah, if, if it's just one row returned, just take me to the edit page, right? So super, super easy to do. All you have to do is create a, a dynamic action. It's an after refresh dynamic, dynamic action. So after the report refreshes, it checks a client-side condition to see if there's only one row. And the way I get this headers is just like Hayden did, I inspected this element for what the header um, value is. Um, it's going to be the alias of the column. Um, that's what it's going to be, but it's uh, uh, no in this case. Nice. And then, um, in, but go ahead and inspect it if you're not sure what it is in your case. And then you need this little bit of JavaScript right here. Um, this JavaScript will, um, navigate to whatever the href is for that item. Brilliant. So um, I'm going to leave this here for about two seconds so you can read this. I think I already showed this little bit of JavaScript so people can pause if they need to to, to get these two little lines of JavaScript. That's all you need. 
cook. I, I think this is brilliant. But the cool thing here is I can combine our two tips. Ah. Check this out. I can come up here. I can add, and this uses friendly URLs, but I can add and P3 underscore search equal Alan. I can copy this URL. I'll send it to you in the private chat here. And you should be able Thank to use this URL. Much. Um, I did I did enable deep linking and a couple of things, but go ahead and make sure you share your screen. Okay, uh, I am going to share my screen again. I am going to log in to this. Um, using the uh, link I sent you, right? Using the link you sent me. And look at that, uh, because um, there is this in the URL, it auto filters on Allen. Uh, it recognizes there's only one row. And because of your handy uh, JavaScript, it's uh, automatically redirects me to the modal, which is where I'd want to be. Excellent. So I think that is two tips plus a combination in one. Yes. And uh, I uh, no longer have my timer going. So, uh, but I, I think that is it for time. I did. I did. We, we hit uh, within about, I think we had three seconds left as of now. So, yes. hey, uh, congratulations, Hayden. Nice tip. Yes. And I, I think there will be more of this uh, segment in the future. Uh, yeah, I mean, because five minutes is really too much time to spend for any one tip. Uh. <laughs> so um, uh, our, our friend and colleague uh, Joe here has a, um, has a handy suggestion. Any password manager, uh, admittedly, I don't use one, um, but I didn't, it didn't occur to me that a password manager could help me also keep uh, track of the workspace. But I, I do use one. I do use one, but it's an extra click um, because right. it doesn't necessarily capture the the workspace. Uh, it's a little, a little tricky. And I, I do use a password manager, and I like it, but that's right. a, a good one. Um, so um, I know we have a an off-topic tip and a wisdom of the week. Um, yes. So uh, my wisdom of the week uh, comes from a recent tweet from Connor McDonald. Um, uh, he's always bamboozled uh, by ask time questions. I need to achieve X, but I don't want to utilize feature Y or Z. When Y and Z were absolutely created just to do that. Um, if the feature is there and it's free, use it. One of the beauty beauties of that is if there's a bug in it, it's not your bug. Call Oracle, get them to fix it. Um, and I, I see that your screenshot also features a reply to the same tweet <laughs> from you, Anton. It does. Well, I have to admit, Connor, Connor created a whole audit utility that uh, basically does what Flashback Data Archive does. Now, after digging into his audit utility, I do find that he's got additional features. But if you were to just use the basic features, it's a lot like FDA that we showed the other day. So we'll see what, what Connor comes back to with me on that. But uh, if, Oracle, if Oracle gives you a feature, why not use it? Well, I, I think that is a uh, classic tweet. Um, <laughs> a very funny uh, line from Connor. Um, yeah. Um, could you make an episode focused on how to find out exactly the selectors one must use to access? Oh, this is actually a really, would be a really good, and it would take, it would probably take all of five minutes, but this would be a good one. Um, we'll add it to yeah. the list. Um, we, we, we have a, a very thorough vetting process of this list. <laughs> it's, it's mainly based on um, Anton's uh, great memory and whatever happens to the, uh, we happen to be working on that week. <laughs> it really, it, truly, these topics are largely whatever interests Hayden or, or me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't deny it. <laughs> if, if I bring up a topic and Hayden's not interested, he's like, hmm. <laughs> So, um, but that one is interesting to me. So Hayden, I may have to you know, convince you or, or, or vice versa. Um, oh, and it looks like uh, Joe uh, uh, wrote back to confirm that his uh, password manager has the ability to store the uh, workspace as well. Okay, so uh, interesting. another uh, another good um, hack for uh, yeah. managing that headache. Yeah, and, and I, just, I think I use the same one as Joe. So I'm just, um, it's just uh, PBCAC for me. Um, right. So, um, and for those, but the, the, the URL with... hack that, that I demonstrated would allow you to, uh, for example, send that URL to, to another person who, um, for whom you set up access to a workspace. Interesting. I thought that very thing. I think that would be actually great. You know, usually I send a, I send the link to the to the slash Apex, and I say this is your workspace and this is your username. But I could send the the link would have all that right in it. Um, so, uh, so this isn't these use these tips can be used to directly open modal pages from a link. Absolutely. I actually think I'm going to do a a larger tip on that very thing. I have a little plugin that I wrote 
um, that is stored away in my basket of plugins that that does this. It's got some security implications, so you have to be a little bit careful um, as you do this because um, it, you know you anyway. It's got some security implications. We might it might be a full five minutes to do that, but uh, right. I completely agree. It's a great way to open that. Um, and I also have a technique that if you open the modal window, um, it will rewrite the URL so you can bookmark the bo modal window opened. And when you bookmark it, the next time you come to that bookmark, it opens the same page with the same modal window with the same row open. So ah, brilliant. yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, there's, there's some considerations, but um, all neat stuff. Uh, Hayden, I love this week's off topic tip. Um, yes. So without, without further ado, let me uh, share my screen. And this will sort of uh, uh, feed into our outro at the same time. So yes, so here I am uh, paused on last week's, uh, last week's instant tips. And what is it that we're saying every week, Antona? We, uh, we are oh, we didn't even do it today. To... Oh, we forgot. We, we should do it. We'll do that now. Don't forget to, if you, if you're leaving now, like, do all the things like script, and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. What if those instructions are insufficient? So one thing that I'm always doing uh, week in week week out is creating instruction manuals for people. I found this nifty plugin called Tango. Uh, uh, the, the website is tango.us. It is currently unmonetized. At some point, they'll come up with premium features that will be monetized. But at this point, it's completely free. Um, so. Let me demonstrate capturing a workflow in which I'm going to show how we might like and subscribe. So I'm going to start a click capture workflow. I'm going to um, uh, uh, first uh, subscribe, uh, click the bell, all, and then further like, and there we're done. And so now I'm redirected to the uh, the flow that I just created. I would then. And Edit it's called a workflow, but it's really it's really an instruction manual. Right. Yeah. So go to Apex Instant Tips, click on subscribe, uh, click on current settings, um, click all, and then yeah. And we're and not done. Uh, so now I I let this is in, in a format that I like. I can magic copy. So let's say I don't want to, to um, keep this uh, in Tango. Tango. I can just copy this to any document of my choice. In this case, I'm using Google Docs. And I can then uh, further modify it to my heart's content. And that, I, that concludes that off topic tip. That is fantastic. I, I mean, you can write a whole blog post by just saying, do this thing, <laughs> click here, click here, click here. And, and your blog post is, you know, with short of a little descriptive. Uh, that I might actually get back to. Um, uh, I can't believe you're not. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should check that. I don't know if I subscribe either. <laughs> right. That would be but, embarrassing. But maybe maybe I'll actually write blog posts again uh, um, with this. Uh, it certainly will. It will make a huge difference for me. I love it. Completely. Yeah. No. It it, it auto like the the uh, intuitive um, screenshotting and the like is um, so key. Yeah. So um, I guess there is the opportunity to um, to have uh, respond to any other comments that we might have. Are there any that we should go back to before we kick people out of here? Um, uh, basket of plugins. Uh, that's a yes. <laughs> um, all right. Um, well, I think that's it then. Uh, I just saw yeah. one. Um, so, well, I, I hope you enjoyed this this new uh, segment, and uh, there'll be more to come. Uh, but uh, see everyone next Friday. And follow Hayden's Tango um, instructions that he just did and do, do all those things. Yes, like, subscribe. <laughs> Send letters. Bye-bye.